Hi, and welcome to our continuing series of tutorials using the Godex GoLabel software. The GoLabel software is free from Godex for all the Godex line of printer. We have a link in the description below. If you want to keep up with the latest videos, go ahead, do us a favor, and click the subscribe button and hit the like button. To get notified when new content is added, hit the bell. Also, feel free to drop us a comment below if there's a subject you would like us to show a video on. Okay, let's get started. Hi, and thank you guys for joining us for another session. What we're going to talk about today is using the GoLabel software. It's free software from um, Godex. And we're going to be uh, talking about attaching a database uh, to be used to populate your template. So it's going to be variable data. And so once you've got your template already set up, and if you don't know how to set up your template, that's actually in another segment um, tutorial that we've done. And so we're moving toward um, forward, and we're going to talk about attaching that database on uh, onto your template. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top, and we're going to um, do a database select. And the type of database in this particular case is going to be an Excel. It could be a SQL, it could be an Access database, an Oracle, uh, plain text, or a DBF type of uh, format that you're connecting to. But today we're just going to do it as an Excel. So we click on Excel, and now it wants to know where the location uh, of the database that we're going to be connecting to. So here, uh, I've got a couple samples here. We're going to do this um, one particular one here, and you can see uh, basically a preview of the data that's inside of the uh, database that we're going to be connecting to. And so that looks good, and we're going to go ahead and click OK, and it pops it and populates it up here as far as the file name goes. We're going to click OK, and here we're we're take a quick look at at, at what it found. So the database table there's going to be three sheets or three tabs that are or that were or is inside of the database we're selecting all the data that we're looking for is contained on the very first sheet the other two are just blank sheets the uh, other thing that the uh, application found was the number of headers or fields that were included into the database we connected to so there's a serial number uh, there's a product, a date, price, barcode, copy number, and print number. So those are all the fields that it found when it connected to it. If by chance you're connecting to a database that does not have uh, the names of the fields, there's a good chance that the data is not on the very first line. The header line is what your field names need to be um, typed on because that is the name it's going to pick up as the name of the field. So we click OK. And so now we've got our database connected. Now we need to put those fields onto our template. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to uh, put a barcode on our template, which is something we get a lot of uh, questions about. And so we're going to click on first what type of field we want or what in this case, what type of barcode we want to put on to our template. So we're going to put, uh, this is going to be a simple barcode. So we put it there. Now we've got some choices to make once that's done. Um, and we're, we're looking at the way that barcode looks. And so we've got the, the width and the, uh, the width and, and, of how this barcode is going to look. We can also change that whenever we populate the, the template. We can also change that um, manually. And we don't have to, if we don't know it right now, we just pick the defaults and, and we go with it. And later on, we can make that change. So we can lock that object and we can actually show it, but not necessarily print it. Uh, we can center our text here. Um, onto the barcode and we can rotate it in any number of degrees we wish. So we're going to go ahead and click um, on data source because we want the data, the variable data that's going to be representing this barcode, we're going to be pulling that from our database. And so we click database 
and then we say insert field. Uh, here is going to be listed the fields that were that were found in the database when we initially connected. And so we've got one labeled barcode, and that's the one we want. So we click OK after we choose it. And as you can see, the barcode actually changes. Now you notice right up here is the actual, um, it's a carrot, what they call a carrot, house top there, F04. And that's the actual, um, go back here, see the number before it? You got 0 through 6. And that carrot top with the with the uh, with the field name in front of it, or the the number in front of it, is what is representing that field name. So we've got our our barcode there, and at this point we can click OK, and it puts it onto our template. Now we have the object of moving that template any which way we want. We can position it. We can actually change the shape of it um, to whatever we desire it to be, and we can actually do certain things uh, besides that. Um, we can actually, uh, I guess, peruse through the records within the database. And we have go to first record and go to next record. So as you can see, as I go through the next records, how it's constantly changing. That's our variable data that's being pulled out of the database. So we've got our barcode. Next we want to put a field name in there or field um, description and we're just going to do that as a regular text box. Now you have the option of doing a text wrap and that's if you if you got limited space to work in and you want that text that's going to populate that field to kind of wrap around and automatically do a, a carriage return at the end and then keep flowing on the field below it. So since we know that the field's not going to be a really long one, we'll use text block. <laughs> okay, so we, we clicked on it, we go over to our over to our uh, template, and we go to our data source just like we did with our barcode. We collect on the database, we say insert field. The last thing we chose was the barcode, so that's still there. And here we're going to pick the product and should be a product name and so it populates and again you see the carrot top F01 and it's uh, the field is populated with the word strawberry again you still have the um, the same options as you did with the barcode a little bit different but you can you can have um, some additional uh, formatting if it's a date field for instance you can actually do some uh, additional formatting uh, to that field so that it looks correct. But we've got um, the word strawberry, so we click here. Again, we have the option of changing that to look any which way we want. Uh, because it is a text field, we can do bold, uh, italicize, and underline. And again, we have the option to uh, go to a certain record that we know it's in the in the database. Uh, we can go to the first record, go to the uh, previous record, or go to the next record. And as you can see it changes as we uh, click on and go through. Now you also have a, an opportunity again if you see something doesn't display correctly you can correct it right then by just moving the uh, moving the box handles. And so now we do that for each field we want to have on our template. And you keep repeating the same steps until you uh, populate your template with all of the data that you want um, for the customer or an employee to see. And, and once you're done, then you're, you're ready to print your template. So that kind of concludes what we're talking about, attaching a database to a template and then putting the fields on the template to represent how we want our label or tag to look. So thank you guys for joining us, and we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.